Before I start this quick tutorial, I want to say that this is not officially sanctioned by Dan. This is more of a hack than anything else. Type Monkey and Monkey Cam Pro weren't really designed to work together, but we were kind of surprised that they did. So while it's not perfect, it works pretty well. The reason you'd want to use Monkey Cam Pro is that it has a ton more effects than the Monkey Cam built into Type Monkey, giving you the ability to use a lot of different interpolations, position and rotation controls, and a wide range of motion effects that you can find in the control panel. But there's also a few words of advice and exceptions to keep in mind, which I'll take you through. By the way, this tutorial also applies to all the other Monkey scripts as well. Here's the workflow for the basic build. 1. Create a Type Monkey build without a camera. 2. Launch Monkey Cam Pro, set your UI, and build. Three, after the build, you'll probably have to adjust the camera markers either by sliding the whole layer or the individual markers, or both. The reason for this is that Type Monkey starts with a gap before the first marker, and Monkey Cam Pro does not. So the way it spaces out the markers isn't exactly the same. You'll also notice that the first marker label is different on both control layers, but don't worry about it. It's basically the same thing. Type Monkey labels its markers with the word it references. Monkey Cam Pro is referencing its targets, which in this case are Type Monkey's unlocked control layers. You'll probably get better results if you use the Marker Sync feature. To do this, you 1. Create your Type Monkey build without a camera. 2. Duplicate Type Monkey's master control layer. 3. Rename it, just to keep things organized. 4. Use the copy as Monkey Cam Pro's Marker Sync layer, and click Do It. A few more points to consider. 1. Monkey Cam Pro will not put a motion effect like a crash or a lens jitter on the first marker. So if you want to have that first word have some sort of an effect, then you should put an additional letter or word at the beginning of Type Monkey's text box. After the build, you can turn it off. If you want to undo things, don't undo Type Monkey first. Just don't. It'll mess things up. Make a protection copy of the Type Monkey comp before you do your Monkey Cam Pro build. If you have a bunch of undos and redos, you might get a little bit messed up, so it's best to have a copy available. If you're working with Circus Monkey and you're using one of the circular layouts, there is a center point control layer. That can be seen as a target for Monkey Cam Pro, which you don't want, so before you do a Monkey Cam Pro build, you should lock that. So that's it, the quick and easy way of adding more options to Type Monkey by using Monkey Cam Pro. Hope you enjoy it, and please send us some samples so we can put up on our product page.